now let's see how different fields of contact form are being generated by contact form 7 here is the list of all fields if we press on text then we will find few options to create our text field at first here is a field type it gives us option to check require as required field that means if we check on this checkbox then this field will be required that is without this field data our form will not be able to submit here is name field here we can set any name for example your name and we can set a default value here to use as placeholder text for example name here I am checking this box this is a Akismet plugin specific functionality it is not our scope of this tutorial here we can set a, an ID say your name and we can set another class say your name we can see short code and if we press on insert tag then we will be able to see our newly generated short code and now if we use this instead of this one and press save and then go to see the output of the form then we will see an exact field like previous with a additional placeholder text name here and if we go to inspect this field then we will be able to see this input field has a unique ID of your name and a unique class with other contact form dynamically generated class your name in this way we can create our mail field just based on mail we can make it required your email I can place a text hold placeholder here text placeholder here and ID your email class your email I can press on insert tag or even I can select and copy then manually paste here for the subject field I can use a text one I am skipping it as it is a text field that we have already seen now let's go to see how this message field a big text area is configured if I delete it and go to build a text area in this case I am also setting it as required message you message message here and your message your message class and insert tag 
and finally if we see how submit button is set I am deleting it and going to create a new submit button here we will be able to set our desired name for submit button say I am setting as level submit now I am giving one ID one class insert if I now press on save and see output of the form then I will be able to see our newly created name and email field with message field is generated and we have also generated our own submit we button have option with our to own use. text now let's see how we can configure our own height and width of this text area column and row height and width from here say I am going to set column width 40 row and height 5 if I save and refresh then we will be able to see height of the text area is decreased and we cannot see change related to width actually the theme I am using has some default CSS on text area if I now disable those CSS then we will be able to see actual output now we can even configure more options with this text area suppose we want to set a limit on inserting text we will use mean length to 10 and max length to 160 character now if I save and refresh then we will be able to see that if I write 5 character and then press submit though you see this field is already filled with some text but it is showing a message that this input is too short we can even display how much how many characters I have already inserted and how many characters are left so let's do it in order to do that I am going to copy and paste and then we will write a new shortcut name count we will place this name field here and a down keyword it will ensure our shortcut output just below this text area now if I refresh and then we will be able to see 160 character limit is set with this text area and if we start writing in text area then we will see our 
set limit is working fine and it is showing how many characters are left to complete 160 character